Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in the New York Magazine. And Kamala decided to make another appearance to once again insult us. She wants us to know that she smoked weed and she did inhale as if anybody really gives a shit. It's amazing how these folks have been in office now for decades and they are so out of touch with the black community. And the reason why they are so out of touch, ladies and gentlemen, is because they never had to worry about us. They only wanted to come around to do just what you see Kamala doing. Come out to dance with us and sing and talk about weed and all the things that really don't matter at all. But see, this time around, Kamala, the Black community wants their own agenda. We don't give a shit about your weed and what you did with it. That's not an agenda. Right now, you and Cory Booker are doing nothing but wasting everybody's time. And it just goes to show you all this time being a prosecutor, being in political office, and you know as much about the black community as a newborn right now. It is a sad sight looking at the two of you, you and Corey. It's a sad ass sight. Let's get into this. I've come a long way in 27 years, 27 years. And she think the best thing to do is come around black folks talking about weed. Isn't that what she jailed people for? Aren't those the people that she wanted to hold hostage up in the prison so they could do the labor? Yeah, those folks, ladies and gentlemen. In March of 1992, then Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton admitted to experimenting with marijuana while he was a student at Oxford University. I didn't like it. I didn't inhale it, blah, blah, blah. We know Bill Clinton and we know you're full of shit. On The Breakfast Club, a New York City-based radio show, California Senator and 2020 Democratic presidential candidate, Carmela Harris, um, admitted just the opposite. Asked if she ever smoked marijuana, Harris said, I have, and I inhaled. I did inhale. Such important words for the black community, y'all. Ho Charlemagne, the God, asked if she would smoke again, provided marijuana is legalized. Harris said she smoked a long time ago, didn't answer, but she did use the language of Marie Kondo to endorse weed. I listened. I think it gives a lot of people joy and we need more joy in this world, she said. You notice how she doesn't answer any questions? You know, they have a certain way of talking to the black community that they never want to deviate from. They just want to be able to come and clown us out and then leave and then get in front of other groups and make promises, give them plans on what they're going to do in political office. And you would think the amount of time she has been asked for an agenda that she would get it by now, but she's still coming to clown the black community, y'all. That's what she's coming to do. Harris 
admission came after she was asked her um, about her stance on legalization of marijuana. She said she supports it. Half of my family's from Jamaica. Are you kidding me? She joked. Hmm. So you see the Breakfast Club have a tweet here. What hashtag Kamala Harris think about legalizing marijuana? You know, that that's all a, a good topic, but that's not the most pressing topic in the black community. We have a serious problem with police officers shooting us unarmed. We have serious issues with our kids going to school and dealing with racism from students and teachers. We have serious issues with mass incarceration and coming to talk to black people about weed is an insult. We want things done. We want an agenda that you are standing in front of other people and making all these promises to. But you keep dropping the ball when you come to the black community. Again, they have a set way of talking to us and being able to get away with this for a long, long time. They don't want to do anything. You are seeing in Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, politicians that want to come and talk crap, but they don't want to do anything for you. And I tell you what, if your white handlers are telling you not to do anything for the black community, they are doing you a major disservice right now because you may have your standardized way of handling the black community, but we ain't having it this time around. We have voted for Democrats for decades. Now it's time for you to deliver the goods. And right now, you are both doing extremely bad and you are tone deaf when it comes down to listening to the black community. Somewhere along the line, when you get finished clowning at us in your interviews, you're gonna have to realize we're dead serious. Put up an agenda. Cory Booker and Kamala Harris, one that you will carry out in office for the black community. We don't wanna hear no people of color. We don't wanna hear the black experience is the American experience. We don't wanna hear any of that. And you're just not getting it, you're not getting it. The former California attorney general added that She'd like to see more research in order to better understand the impact of weed on a developing brain. She added, the other issue that we've got to address is how we're going to measure impairment when somebody has been smoking weed in terms of driving. The black community is not concerned about that. Kamala, yeah, thank you for the weed conversation, but we got much more serious issues going on and our issues are far more unique than any other group in America. Not addressing our issues just simply won't cut it. What is the reason why the black community can't have teachers that reflect the people that live there? What is the reason why we have cops that don't reflect the community or even relate to the community that they work in? Hmm. 
Why do we always see other communities getting fixed up? And you are conveniently skipping over the black community where tax dollars come out of in order to fix those other communities. Education is poor because the people that work in the community don't care about the children there. That's a subject she raised before. In 2010, Proposition 19 was on the ballot in California. The measure, which ultimately failed, would have made it the first state to legalize weed. Then the San Francisco District Attorney Harris, like many top California Democrats, opposed the ballot initiative and expressed concern that it would lead to more driving while high. Spending two decades in courtrooms, Harris believed that drug selling harms communities. Her campaign manager said in 2010, Harris supports the legal use of Okay, medicinal um, marijuana. Okay, I get that. But still, I, you know, this is not a lingering subject for the Black community. She remained opposed to legalization in 2015 when Ron Gold, her Republican challenger for AG, came out in support for recreational weed. He's entitled to his opinion, she said, laughing off the issue to local news reporters. By January of 2018, Harris' public position began to change. She no longer opposed legalization. She, her spokesperson told roll call and thought states should be allowed to do what they want. Just a few months later, Harris' evolution on the issue was complete. Making marijuana legal at the federal level is the smart thing to do, and it's the right thing to do, she tweeted. She also signed on as a co-sponsor of the Marijuana Justice Act, a bill to make marijuana legal at the federal level. Introduced by Senator Cory Booker, who's also running for president, the bill has been co-sponsored by 2020 hopefuls, Elizabeth Warren and Christian Gillibrand. Likely candidate Bernie Stander, Sanders um, is also on board. Harris' support for marijuana legalization is clearly not unique among a crowded Democratic primary, but neither is her admission to sparking a bit of joy in her youth. I've done marijuana twice in my life. When I was very young, Sanders said on the campaign trail in 2016. What it did for me is it made me cough a lot, but I gather other people have different experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, this doesn't explain her record that has been extremely harsh on the Black community when she was a prosecutor in California. It doesn't explain why she wanted to hold up people that were in, primarily Black men, that were in jail for nonviolent uh, offenses, and she did not want to let them out because of the labor. This woman has not been good on the black community in her entire career. For her to spend all this time talking about topics that she knows good and well, when she gets in office, she doesn't have to do anything in the black community regarding weed and she's not going to. And if she does, it's gonna to be to jail Black men and women that are caught with weed. This is not the topic we need to be talking about. You know, why are we not getting out of Kamala these cops that 
calm, escalate a situation and then start screaming, resisting arrest, resisting arrest, but they don't tell you why you are being arrested in the first place. Why other communities, the LGBTQ and the white communities and immigrants, they're all given resources. All of those communities are given resources. We don't have resources, ladies and gentlemen. We have none. So to say that our experience is the American experience is an insult. Why not make those communities go without resources for a while so that we can get caught up? That's not a lot to ask, being that they've been getting resources all along. And then somebody asked me, well, what resources are the immigrants getting? Are you kidding me? They got sanctuary cities, sanctuary counties and sanctuary states. Those are resources that the black community don't have. I can't even believe people are asking that question. Are you kidding me? You know, some of y'all, you may just still have some time to really get and hear and understand what the black community means when they say, what is your agenda? for us. If you can name all of those other groups and get in front of them and make hardcore promises about what you're going to do, there is no reason why you can't do that for us. Not unless you fear some people because they've told you not to do it. Well, those people are going to have to understand that if you don't do it, you won't get the vote. Perhaps you will get it and they will get it as well. It ain't going to go down the way it used to. Not anymore. So you better come with the goods or don't come at all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.